The Ariba Business Network is more than just a supplier network. It is a global business commerce network, the largest web-based trading community where your company can collaborate with any other, large or small, from anywhere in the world, whenever you are buying, selling or managing cash. As a valued member of the Ariba Network, we have built an exclusive integration with SAP Business One to give you access to the sophisticated tools you need to grow your business. SAP Business One is a core business management solution for managing everything from sales and customer relationships to financials and operations. Today, we are going to demonstrate three simple business scenarios. The first scenario is the order to invoice process in SAP Business One by showing you the processing of sales orders, delivery and accounts receivable invoices in a clear and structured way. This SAP Business One order to invoice scenario includes the following steps. Receiving and opening a sales order from a buyer through the Ariba network. Reviewing the sales order. Fulfilling and confirming the order and then creating and posting an accounts receivable invoice. We are now logged in to the SAP Business One system and we are presented with a cockpit which is a personalised work centre where you can view, search, organise and perform your regular work and related activities in SAP Business One. You can speed up your daily routine with your own personalised work centre by grouping your most frequently used functionalities in one place for quick access, displaying online internet information on your desktop and tailoring your personal work centre by using widget technology. For example, the messages and alerts window displayed here is a common function widget used for quick access to messages as well as any new sales orders in your inbox. We are going to select one of the alert items in the right messages and alerts pane to access the sales order which has been published by the Ariba network. If the messages and alerts overview window does not appear, however, we can simply click on the messages and alerts icon to access it. From our messages and alerts overview window, we are able to select the Ariba sales order alert from the list by simply clicking on it. We can then, in the area below, click on the yellow browsing arrow to actually navigate to that particular sales order. So in this instance, we're going to select the sales order number 381. We've now opened up a sales order in SAP Business One and now we have the ability to review the sales order items under the Contents tab. Once you have finished reviewing the sales order content, you can simply navigate to the Logistics tab. Under the Logistics tab is information around billing and shipping address details and also the type of delivery is also displayed. Under the Document Delivery field, you can actually see the document source. You can easily see if the sales order comes through the Ariba network, such as this particular sales order, which will list post to Ariba network, or from other sources, for example, if it's a manual sales order. We are now going to copy this sales order to a delivery document. And to do this, we simply navigate to the Copy To button, and we select Delivery. And this will copy the data from the sales order directly into a delivery document. So now we have opened up a delivery document and all of the sales order information has been copied across into this delivery document. Once we have reviewed the data, on the following screen, we need to ensure that it is accurate and identical to the sales order. Once we are happy with the data that we've reviewed, we can click Add to generate the delivery document and add it to the system. By clicking on the Previous Record button, we are able to open up the delivery document that we just created. 
we are now going to copy the delivery document to a, an accounts receivable invoice. And again, to do this, we simply navigate to the Copy To button and select Accounts Receivable Invoice. This will now copy all of the data across from the delivery document to an AR invoice document. Once we have reviewed the AR invoice data to ensure that the data is accurate and identical to the delivery document, we can now click on Add to generate the accounts receivable invoice in the system. Let's now navigate back to the AR invoice that we've just created, which is Accounts Receivable Invoice number 373. We have now concluded our demonstration of the first scenario, a simple SAP Business One order to invoice process, where we have received and easily opened a sales order from a buyer through the Ariba network from the SAP Business One cockpit. We've reviewed the sales order details. We've then fulfilled and confirmed the order by creating a delivery. And finally, we created and posted an accounts receivable invoice, invoice number 373, which we will reference in scenario two.